You can literally create your own pay stubs and proof of income by running business payroll for free. This one has me excited because I'm just getting my feet wet with the possibilities here. And I remember one of my audience members informed me months ago that he earned about $8,000 by using this one benefit of running payroll for his business. At the time, I brushed it off, but I took a second look and the money is there and it was an eye opener for me. So typically with your payroll provider, and in this case for me, it's ADP, which is the largest in the US by the way, your payroll provider will require you to pay a monthly fee. That fee will be different for everybody, but you can expect to pay anywhere from about $50 to a few hundred dollars, depending on your company size. The yearly cost ends up being in the high hundreds to low thousands of dollars, but you can completely wipe those monthly fees out by collecting personal checking and personal savings account bonuses. Take a look at this. So here's a list of the best bank account bonuses for this month in July. And you can see that you got Wells Fargo is giving you 2,500 bucks for their premier checking bonus. You get PSCCU, which is one of my favorites right now. I might actually consider signing up for this very soon. It gives you a $300 checking bonus. You get PNC gives you two or $400. And this is all gonna depend on what you qualify for. And we'll get into that in a second. But there is a laundry list here of different bonuses that you're going to qualify for that's going to add up to enough to pay for the yearly fee attached to any sort of payroll. So if we check out PSCCU, so it says you can earn up to $300 when you join PSCCU and meet promo requirements. So what are those requirements? Level one is become a PSCCU member using promo code level up and add a free checking account with debit card. Then you log into digital banking online or on mobile and activate that debit card. And so that's all you have to do to earn the 100 bucks. And he says you must be completed in the first 30 days of establishing membership. Typically with these credit unions, you can actually establish membership. Even though this is in Pennsylvania, you'll be able to join one of their nonprofit organizations to establish membership nationwide. And I'm here in New York and I'll still be able to join this bank here. So level two, establish one or more qualifying payroll direct deposits that together total $200 per calendar month must be qualified within 90 days. So here it's saying that you need to use direct deposits. And guess what? We're running payroll now, so we'll be able to supply those direct deposits easily. Now, level three is saying maintain the qualifying payroll direct deposits for 90 days after the initial deposit. And so this is the join PSCCU page. It says, don't worry, you can still join this bank by becoming a member of the Pennsylvania Recreation and Park Society. Friend membership is a one-time fee of 20 bucks, but PSCCU will cover 10 bucks when you open an account with them. So essentially this is $10 to open an account nationwide. So here's another bank I love. I've been with SoFi for about four years now. This is my main personal bank. So I definitely have a dog in the fight here, but I like them. They're gonna get you a great interest rate of 4.3% on the savings account and up to $2 million worth of FDIC insurance, which is pretty much class leading. You get paid up to two days early. This is pretty standard for FinTechs. Pay no account fees or overdraft fees. And you can cash in on up to $250 when you sign up and set up direct deposit. So here again, we need direct deposit to get this award. So it says right here to qualify, sign up and set up direct deposit. Wait for your direct deposit to hit your account, typically two to four weeks. Then collect a cash bonus of 50 to $250. So you can see how this is gonna work going forward. You're gonna be able to sign up for different checking accounts on the personal side that are gonna pay you between 250, 300, maybe even $400 per account, per sign up. And that's gonna help offset any sort of fees that are associated with signing up for ADP, for example. The reason why this is so important because when you run payroll for yourself as a business, it makes it super easy to go in there and change things and separate how you get paid and what bank you get paid through. When you're working for an employer, you have to go to HR, maybe you have to go through an online portal and it's gonna take one or two paychecks to clear and to make that change happen. And how weird is it gonna look when you keep going back to your HR rep trying to change your direct deposit bank because it's going to look shady. They're going to probably flag you, bring you into the office, question you, you know, it's going to be a bad day. I remember when I changed with my employer, maybe two years ago, let's say, when I set up for a new bank account, I actually got a live check once or twice before they set it up officially with the new bank. So I wasn't really prepared for that. I was kind of surprised. And usually I kind of rip those checks up and just throw them away. But in this case, it was live, so I had to really pay attention and go and actually cash that particular check. 
So here, all you need is like three or four of these account bonuses to pay for your payroll for the year. Plus, another good thing is it's always good to diversify your accounts. You want to have multiple checking accounts and savings accounts across different issuers, different banks, because you don't want to be debanked. You know, there's all these fiascos going around with like Bank of America, maybe seeing you as doing some fraudulent activity and then closing your account until you actually call customer service and get it rectified. The young lady said we decided to close your account. With no adequate explanation, she says, a business decision, the bank told her. What's worse, Blanton could not get her money. You don't want to fall into a situation where you have just one or two bank accounts and you don't have another bank you can go to or lean on in your time of need. So let's go into exactly how this is done, how you can set this up pretty easily. And you can just go through these bank accounts one by one, knock them out however you want to. So once you get into ADP, this is the home screen. All you have to do is type into the search box, direct deposit and see, I already have it auto populated here. So this is my direct deposit for myself. This is how I pay myself in my company, Barton Media. And so you can see it says right here, an employee can have their pay deposited into up to four deposit accounts, including checking, savings, pay card, and preloaded debit card. So really, this is even better than I thought because I didn't even read that before. You can actually go for four different savings and checking account bonuses at one time. So the first thing you have to do is change this deposit distribution from full net to either partial, partial percentage or remainder. So I'll choose partial amount and I'll just put a hundred bucks in here. I'll click on add account. And then let's say I'll add a checking account. All I have to do is add my routing number, confirm that bank account number and confirm that. And here, what I would do is on deposit distribution, I would just put partial and amount. And then I'll just input the minimum amount that I have to deposit to qualify for the signup bonus. So for the last one for PSCCU was 200 bucks. And then I click save. Just remember, you can hit the link below and check out ADP for yourself. The first 10 businesses will get a 30% lifetime discount. And after that, the discount drops to 20%. There's only like three or four spots left at the 30% off rate. So don't be surprised if that runs out. When you click the link below, it takes you to this page where you can schedule a meeting with ADP to get you started. So doing this, you definitely want to be aware of the fine print and all the requirements. You don't want to be putting in this effort and getting nothing out of it. So you definitely have to scroll down to the bottom and look at the fine print and making sure that you're actually qualifying. So for example, let's go to SoFi real quick. If you go to the bottom, it has all this mini fine print here that is hard to kind of wade through. One thing that I'll tell you is a pro tip. I would just select all of this and I'm just going to copy it and then I'm going to take it over to ChatGPT. Now, if you haven't used ChatGPT yet, it's basically a large language model. It's artificial intelligence. This is going to help you really learn anything you want. So here we're going to go into how to break down the jargon that banks try to tell us in the fine print. So you can steal my prompt here, but I just said in simple terms, explain the requirements needed to qualify for the checking account bonus colon. Then I'm going to paste that fine print that I took from the SoFi page and then click send message. And you can see it's typing it out. And so it really just breaks it down into digestible chunks. And obviously the font is larger too, so it's more readable, but it has eligibility, promotion period, qualifying direct deposit. And it just says it in simple language, like the promotion is available to both new and existing members who do not have a history of direct deposit transactions. And so you can just go line by line and just learn in natural language what they really mean without using all the large words and confusing language that banks typically use in the fine print. So I'm going to follow up in this conversation that's continuing. I'm just going to paste. Is there any requirement that would be hard to meet? And so once I send that message, it's typing out any sort of requirements that it might deem an average person would have a hard time really qualifying for. And it says qualifying for direct deposit. You're going to have to deposit $1,000 or more from the employer payroll or benefits provider via ACH deposit. So that could be tough. The evaluation period begins when SoFi receives a qualifying direct deposit and ends 25 days later. So it clearly states that window that you have to qualify and then it has limitations. So this is just going to make it more understandable for any of the bank bonuses that you're going out for. So the next thing you need to watch out for is the check system. 
This provides account verification services primarily for financial institutions. It collects and reports data on checking account applications, openings, and closures, including reasons for account closure. So this is really how banks keep up to date with you, sort of like the credit bureaus. And if you have any negative marks with a past bank, then that will go on your check system report. So what I'm finding is a reasonable limit is opening up 10 bank accounts per year seems to be what's accepted in the community. But really people have pushed past that without a problem. Just like my audience member, I'm thinking, I'm assuming that he went past that the year that he made about $8,000, but at least we know it's possible. But really you don't even have to touch 10 different accounts. All you really need is three to four to get you near that $1,000 mark. And that should cover anything you have, especially if you're a one person business, if you go with ADP, it should really cover that whole year's worth of fees. And if you wanted to take it further than one year, you could even do it for multiple years if you want it. It's really up to you. So if you want a step-by-step -step on how to run payroll using ADP and exactly what your pay stubs will look like, then watch this video next. Thank you for watching.